What's up guys? Welcome back to Chiefs Chat. Today we're doing the Chiefs versus Bengals game preview. Uh, week 17 football. And uh, you know, normally that would mean the last week of regular season football, but uh, as you guys know, the season has been expanded and there's gonna be games next week. So uh, week 18, it's kind of weird. It's a little strange, uh, but it's the way it is. So yeah, um, but I mean, nevertheless, a huge game against the Cincinnati Bengals this week. You know, a lot of playoff implications. Uh, there's a ton of AFC teams looking at the Chiefs, uh, looking at this Bengals team, and hoping and praying, uh, you know, that Joe Burrow and the Bengals are gonna pull off this upset because they want the number one seed, you know? That's just the way it is. Uh, you know, a lot of these teams want the Chiefs to lose. And a lot of people think that the Chiefs might lose to the Bengals. A lot of people think that the Bengals are Super Bowl contenders, okay? The Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, the Bengals, they're great. They're a good football team. Uh, you know, they've been showing a lot of, of promise, you know, over the past few weeks, uh, considering the fact they play in a tough division. Uh, you got the Steelers, the Browns, and the Ravens. Um, and they're on top of that division. You know, they're playing good football. A lot of people are comparing the Bengals to the Chiefs. You know, a, a lot of people out there talking about, oh, the Chiefs, they might lose to the Bengals in the playoffs. The Bengals might be going to the Super Bowl. You know, here's my problem, you know, with people going on the internet and, and saying these just ridiculous things, okay? Here's my problem with it. It's all just recency bias. I mean, it's all based on what's happened over the past couple of weeks. Uh, you know, the people going out there on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever it is, the people that are saying those type of things on social media are the same people that seven, eight weeks ago were talking about how the Chiefs weren't going to make the playoffs just because we lost a couple of close games. Can we just use our heads for a second here, okay? Can we just use our brains? The Bengals! You guys think the Bengals are going to make the Super Bowl? Don't get me wrong, I, I love that Bengals team, but they are not there yet. They're just not. They're not good enough to put together a solid playoff run. You know, let's just be smart here, guys. Let's be smart individuals, okay? They're not gonna beat the Chiefs. They're not gonna beat the Chiefs in the playoffs. They're not gonna beat the Colts in the playoffs. They're not gonna beat the Chargers in the playoffs, who might not even make the playoffs in general. I mean, I mean, come on, guys. Let's be smart. And don't get me wrong, okay? I love this Bengals football team. To be honest, I think the Bengals are one of my favorite teams. Of course, they're not anywhere near as, uh, you know, it's like Chiefs and then, you know, Bengals somewhere over here. Then the rest of the teams are down here. But, uh, yeah. You know, if you guys want to know my honest prediction, the Chiefs are going to win this week's 17th game. And if we see the Bengals in the playoffs, we're going to crush them even harder. Yeah, so I mean, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of done ranting about all that, but yeah, that's my opinion. Um, the thing about the Bengals, we definitely need to watch for the deep shot, okay? Joe Burrow has gotten very good at finding his targets and hitting them downfield, you know? Jamar Chase has really broken out. One of the best rookie, uh, sorry, one of the best rookie wide receivers in this year's draft class. He's been playing fantastic. Uh, and, you know, they do have a solid running game with Joe Mixon. He's a great running back. And Joe Burrow, man, he's been just throwing dimes. Um, and that defense, very young and very underrated. They got a solid squad. You know, I'll be honest. They've got a good football team. But the main thing that we need to focus on is limiting the deep shot. You know, we've got to, you know, get our guys, get our secondary. You know, we got to get them ready for this game. You know, it's very important for them to be on their A game. Uh, you know, Tyron Matthew, Daniel Sorensen, uh, you know, guys like Shartavius Ward, they've got to be on their A game. And offensively, you know, I'm not worried about Patrick Mahomes not being able to produce against this uh, Bengals defense. I think they're definitely a good defense. You know, I think they're slightly underrated overall as a group. But, you know, there's just not... There's just not a lot of big playmakers on that defense, you know, if I'm being honest. So I think, you know, having guys like Travis Kelsey back in the lineup, who wasn't here last week, if you guys remember, he was not in the game. 
And then Tyree Kill last week, he only had a couple of catches. I think these guys are really wanting a big shot. You know, they're wanting a big game. And this could potentially be their last game until the playoffs, uh, if all things go well on Sunday. So yeah, you know, I think offensively, we're gonna be able to dismantle this Bengals defense. So let me run down a couple of scenarios that could happen here in week 17. Because there's a couple other games that I think the Chiefs, you know, and Chiefs fans in general, I think we need to be watching uh, for a couple of other games. The main one being the Titans versus Dolphins game, okay? As you guys know, the Titans right now have a 10-5 and record. Pretty good, pretty solid. And uh, the Titans are currently the number two seed in the AFC. Uh, the Chiefs right now are number one with an 11 and 14 record, or sorry, 11 and four record. Sorry, not not 14. That'd be a little weird. 11 and four. Uh, but the problem is the Titans have the tiebreaker over the Chiefs. So uh, in the event of the Chiefs and Titans having the same record at the end of the regular season, the Titans would then get that number one seed, which is unideal. You know, that's not good. We definitely want that first round bye. So we've got to be watching for that Titans versus Dolphins game because if the Dolphins can pull off the upset and beat the Titans, and if the Chiefs can beat the Bengals, then the Chiefs have clinched the number one seed in the AFC. I mean, that'd be great. That'd be fantastic. And the huge thing about that is we'd be able to rest our starters in week 18 to make sure they don't get hurt, you know, nothing bad happens, and make sure they're well rested so that when the playoffs come along, we're just absolutely ready to go. You know, that would be ideal. That'd be great. So that Titans game is definitely one that we're going to want to watch for. You know, let's go Dolphins, right? I'm a Dolphins fan this week. It's a little weird to say, but let's go Dolphins, you know? Uh, they, they've got a crazy win streak going of their own. I think it's seven games now, maybe eight. Pretty good. You know, pretty good. They might be able to pull off the upset. But we'll see, you know? For now, let's just focus on this Bengals game. And like I said... This should be an easy one. You know, I'm not worried. I'm really not. I know I say that every week, but this week I'm really definitely not. You know, confidence is way up here. You know, way up here. Through the roof. But yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next Chiefs chat. Peace out.